Welcome to the easiest way to lose weight. We get a lot of questions about this, especially in the last couple of weeks. I'm new, haven't seen you before, just found your channel. What did you do in the beginning? What are some tips to help me start losing weight? What's the best way to lose weight? What do you do for workouts in the beginning? Here it is. The easiest way to lose weight. Losing weight, it's not just a physical thing. It's here and it's here. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up. You're not going to hear this from any other channel because it's so simple, people can't make money off of it. This is the easiest thing to do and it's so simple, you're going to go, really? Do what you like. <laughs> choose workouts that you like to do and choose foods that you like to eat. Move your body doing things you like, eat foods you like, but eat less of them. People always say to us, I don't like the treadmill. We say, don't do the treadmill. Don't do People it. People say, we don't like tuna and cottage cheese. We say, don't, don't eat, eat tuna and cottage cheese. Find something you like, you're more likely to stick to that. Everyone wants to overcomplicate it and we didn't believe us, we did. We overcomplicated our whole lives. We liked things painful and <laughs> slow. We made it so difficult until Kyle was almost 400 pounds, I was almost 300 pounds, we were getting severe medical issues, we could barely move, and we finally said, why don't we just do portion control and eat what we like and just walk because we can barely do that. We've tried the, the tough routes all the time. Let's go for the easy one. And that is what worked. Anyone can tell you quick and easy ways to lose weight. Anyone can get on a fad diet and lose weight really fast. But the trick is this video is about the easiest way to lose weight and keep it off. It took us about two years to lose our weight and we've kept it off for about four years now four to five, because this is our seventh year in our fitness journey. First, I wanna say, everyone wants to focus on the exercise, but diet is the most important thing in losing weight. You, exercise is needed, yes, you need to move your body, but Kyle and I found out once we nailed our diet, once we started eating less in portions, the weight started just coming off, like so fast we didn't even realize it. I was like down 15 pounds before I was like, whoa, like we're really doing this. And we get that question a lot too. I'm just starting out, I have 50 to 100 pounds to lose. What kind of exercise and should I do this? And my trainer told me this. We're here to say do not get caught up on that because you have to start with baby steps. We, all, we usually ask them, are you drinking your water? Are you portioning your food? No, no, no. They want to skip ahead to the exercises. Start with the basics. That's a good point about the water. We realized how important it was to get our water in, so we made sure we built up to it because we had never really drinking water before our whole lives. We had like two or three sips a day. We worked up to eight eight ounce glasses a day and hydration made a huge difference. Just drinking water alone because there were no calories in it when we were drinking seven Dr. Peppers a day made a huge difference. And then portioning our food. You're, we were still eating all the things we loved, but we were eating less of it. And like we, like I just said, the weight started falling off. We wanted to lose it slow and steady, one to two pounds a week about, and that's what happened. And it didn't feel like a diet. It, it was so easy because we love what we were eating. I'm gonna show you an example of some of our favorite foods to eat to lose weight and we ate them then and we still eat them now. First of all, I wanna tell you that we eat in a balance. And when we often share our meal plans, our meal plans in videos, we get lots of comments saying, oh, no one who's bigger can do this. No one with diabetes can do this. No one who's insulin resistant can eat carbs. Guess what? Kyle had diabetes, reversed it, eating what we eat. I had sleep apnea, I reversed that. I have PCOS, you're not supposed to be able to lose weight easily on PCOS. I've lost 130 pounds. And we're not saying that you can do that. 
We're saying we're saying that when people we, tell us that nobody can do it, we're we right it. here and we did it. So, for fruit, fruit does carry a lot of natural sugar and sugary sugar, but we do want to eat. We like eating in balance. We find that works the best. So the best fruits are the ones that have more fiber. Berries are our favorite. We find these are the best for weight loss. This is a frozen field berry blend. It has raspberries, blackberries, and blueberries. And we also throw strawberries in the mix as well every once in a while. And apples, they're a little faster acting in their sugars and carbs and we like to put these around our workouts. Apples. The, ber the berries in this mix would be our first favorite go-to for fruit. Apples would be second. Yes. We did eat other fruits, but we chose them more sparingly and our go-to fruits were the fruit were the berries and apples. And we want to give you guys, you know, the best options that we've found through our journey. Carbs are the next one. Yes, we ate carbs every day multiple times a day. We never cut carbs out. Still, still don't. These are our favorites, whole grains. Right, currently I like sprouted whole grain bread. Uh, before we were just eating normal, like whole wheat, whole grain, whatever kind of bread was available. Sweet potatoes are amazing because they are lower glycemic for those that are insulin resistant, like myself and Kyle, and they're slower digesting. And they're really good carbs. They help you keep full longer as well. And guys, uh, bread is not the enemy. Just watch your portions. Just have, you know, one or two slices. And that's exactly what we did. We either ate one or two slices of bread, half to one cup of sweet potato, half a cup of oats. These are steel cut quick oats. Oatmeal is amazing because it's higher in fiber, it's slower digesting, and when you make half a cup of oatmeal and mix it with three quarters of a cup of water, it gives you a huge bowl. And it really makes you feel full and you are satisfied for hours after. That's what we feel anyway. So those are our favorite carbs. Veggies, we really enjoy sticking with the green ones. We find they help, they have so many vitamins and minerals. They also help, I find, keep me full longer. Since I've been eating like spinach and things like that, my skin has really improved too. They're good for digestion too. Yeah, and they're also really good for keeping you regular digestion and stuff. So baby spinach is one of our favorites and we buy it like this because you don't have to do any prep for it. Now we started with like your typical iceberg lettuce mix. However, we've meat. recently, you know, not recently, a couple of years, but we've switched to baby spinach and it really, it it's not that big, like it tastes pretty, pretty good. Actually, I one of the my favorite meals is spinach with some light Italian dressing and protein and rice. And cucumber, this one is sliced up because we prepped it for a meal, and broccoli. Also cauliflower too, but wanted to talk about greens. Protein, lean protein. We got lean protein, anything will do. We're currently liking the extra lean ground turkey, but it can be any lean cut of meat or fish. And we're also here to help you think outside the box because a lot of foods get a bad rap and we have no idea why. And eggs. like whole eggs is one of them, but also Pork chops, if you get the right oh, cut, yeah. they're very lean and a very good source of protein. That's a really good point. So a lot of people say, well, whole eggs, cholesterol, they're bad for you. Actually, they're like a perfect protein because you get the healthy fat from the yolk and you get the protein from the white. It's like a perfect food, really. Don't just eat the egg whites, basically, is, is our advice because there's so many nutrients in the yolk. The yolk, and the yolk actually, since I've been eating whole eggs, I've noticed a change in my hair and my skin as well. We also do eat just egg whites. That That's, gives you the big protein without the fat. Exactly, this is how we boost our protein and this is what we eat more for health reasons. Also, we like yogurt, Greek yogurt, because it's higher in protein. As you can see, 17 grams for three quarters of a cup. 
And cottage cheese also has a lot of protein, and this is for half a cup, 14 grams. So there's a reason why we eat cottage cheese before bed. It's not just because we make it tasty with the way we make it, but it's the best source of natural casein protein, which is slow digesting protein, which we want right before bed because we want it digesting all, all night instead of us going into a catabolic state during our sleep. Exactly. We get a lot of questions about healthy fats. Why do you guys eat low fat? Why do you eat no fat? Well, often, like yes, the majority of our day is low in fat, but we do eat healthy fats. For us personally, if we eat too much healthy fat, we actually get fat. When we eat small amounts of healthy fats throughout the day, we stay leaner. This is so, another fad that we just like to throw up. We're not saying healthy fats are bad for you. We just no. like to throw up a caution flag because people are going, we're seeing all kinds of people go absolutely nuts over healthy fat and it's a ton of calories and they're actually putting on weight, but it says it's healthy fat and they're not realizing that healthy fat can make you fat. It's good for you, but too much of it, like anything, is going to make you gain weight. For us, if we eat too much, we gain. So we eat small amounts. Natural peanut butter is one of our favorite healthy fats. We eat a tablespoon of this a day. Nuts, raw and salted nuts. Eat a teaspoon to a tablespoon of chopped nuts. A day so like 12 whole nuts guacamole we, we really like this they come in the holy guacamole comes in miniature pre-portioned containers which is great for portion control and we actually split this so it's about a heaping tablespoon of, of healthy fats each and then they, we, we make sure to get in some whole eggs every day too for healthy fats. yeah and I eat one egg and Kylie eats about two eggs per whole eggs per day. And we also eat egg whites. So choose foods that you love. We love these foods. This is what helps us. This is what works for us. Exercise. We did what we were capable of and what we liked. We could barely bend down to tie our shoes and walk down the driveway without cramping up or being out of breath. So we just moved our body. We walked and we liked walking and that was all we could do. So in the beginning, we didn't sign up for a gym, we didn't do weight training, all we did was walk. And because we ate portion control and lost our weight slow and steady versus a fad diet really fast, we didn't get as much loose skin. And then once we lost the majority of our weight, we introduced weight training. But like Kyle said earlier, if you don't like going on the treadmill, don't. If you don't like going to the gym, don't get a gym membership. Don't force yourself to eat food you don't like. Don't force yourself to take away food groups. And don't force yourself to do a workout you don't want to do. Take it from us. Every time we did that, and we did, we made plenty of those mistakes along the way, we failed. Backfired. We even started gaining weight in the middle of our journey because we were forcing ourselves to do stuff we didn't want to do. And then human nature is to rebel against the thing that you force, right? Exactly. So I don't care if you like gardening, garden. If you like dancing, dance. If you are too heavy to do any activity, like Kyle and I could barely move, sit on the couch while you're watching TV or whatever, listening to music, and just do like, leg extension just move your legs to, as much as you can just get up and down from the couch just like that just a little up little down to move your body and just take some cans of soup or water bottles and do bicep curls and lateral raises just from a sitting position that will help you and also remember what we said before that your results in the beginning you actually forever are going to be about 95 percent diet yeah so as long as you're moving your body a little bit if your diet's on point you will get results so that my friends that's it that's the easiest do what you like eat what you like just eat less of it and that's it
don't forget to check us out on Instagram at the Colettes because we show you what we eat on there. We show you how we build the muscles and the guns, and we show you a whole lot more. <laughs> so get on there. And don't forget to like and subscribe or what? Or what? Uh oh. She's picking the new might have The cucumber <laughs> lies of ah. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye, guys. Bye.